So you're watching this video because you're a recruiter who just wants to get more engaging with their content and good for you, or you're just someone who wants to understand how to use word clouds more effectively. To begin with, you're going to need a few things. Wordle.net is the one that we favor. You're going to need to know what your hex colors are, H-E-X. This is basically a definition of your colors online from a computing perspective. Speak to your marketing department about this, they'll know what to give you. You'll then need, probably in Word, a list of words that you want to use in your word cloud. Notice here for this example, we've got some words mentioned more than once. If you do this, those words will get bigger in the word cloud. Notice as well that the words are separated by a tilde, i.e. a wavy dash. This is to keep these words together. If you don't use this, it'll separate them, which will basically render them useless. You'll need a snipping tool. Now everyone's got one of these on their computers. And the idea is the snipping tool that we use, we've just gone to our start menu, found it and pinned it to our taskbar. That will enable us to cut out the word cloud at the end. But the most important thing you're going to need on this session is a sense of style. We see lots of word clouds that are unreadable, go in every which way direction and really don't help your brand whatsoever. You want to engage, not disengage. So we've promised to show you how to do this in 60 seconds. So we're going to start and we're going to go through this really quick. Press pause if you need to. So we're in wordall.net. I go in and I paste my pre-formatted text. Stick it in and press go. Give it a second. It opens up, looks pretty pants if we're honest to begin with. So we begin starting off with maybe choosing some fonts. We tend to like the telephoto font, it's nice and clean. You then think about the layout. Now you can go crazy, but that's not massively helpful. We like horizontal and we tend to favour this when we're helping clients with job adverts, for example. We then focus on colour. This is where you come. You can choose some presets if you wish, or you can go and edit your custom palette. Notice you've got foreground colours and background colours. If you want to, you can double click on the palette itself to open a range of colours. Notice when you press go on that particular screen, it will add the colours and what you can then do is decide whether or not you want a variation. I tend to stick with exact palette colours if I'm honest. So you've got fonts, you've got the layout, you've got the colours. What you don't have is a backspace button to add extra text once you've added it. So make sure you get this right in Word first because you're going to cry if you have to do all of this all over again. And when you've done, you use your snipping tool and cut it out. And then copy paste it into LinkedIn, onto your website, into Twitter, Facebook, wherever to make your content more engaging. Good luck.